What's up, YouTube? This is True Raw for TV. So, you know, you often hear me talk about a lot of the players today that are guilty of stat padding. You know, they're they're out there in situations where either their team is well ahead, and you know, at this point, it's overkill. Usually, when I was growing up. When the team was up by 30 points, the starters were on the bench, and the second unit came in and got a chance to shine and got a chance to uh, get some actual on-court play. Now, more and more with these blowouts, you're seeing starters stay in or stars stay in to reach their reach or exceed their scoring average, uh, chase individual uh, you know marks like triple doubles, pad assist numbers, pads you know whatever blocks. Um, and I call it out a lot. And a lot of young people think I'm being persnickety or, hey man, you know, he's doing his thing. Well, it's just it comes from the generation of basketball I grew up watching. Usually, man, when the team was up 25 to 30 points, after a while, the starters set. The bench came in, and they played. Wow, shit, a lot of times, they would go on to another game and cover a more competitive game. That's what we saw. But increasingly, you got these guys now today who are chasing individual numbers. One legend who was not about individual numbers, I guess I'm on a little bit of a Larry Bird kick, was Larry Bird. Now, there was a particular game. He had a lot of great games, individual. But it was one particular game that he thinks was the best game he ever played. And it came in 1985 against the U.T. Through three quarters, Larry Bird had 30 points. However, he did not play in the fourth quarter. When he sat late in the third quarter, his team, Boston, was up 90 to 66. And when asked later on, why didn't he want more on court time, he said, what for? I did enough damage to them. He would also go on to say, Quote, when asked again, I already did enough damage. Why go for it if we're up by 30? Now, that's what I'm thinking about when you see a LeBron James in a game where his team is down by 35 and he's padding his numbers so he can continue his streak of 25 points or more. That's what I'm thinking about, even with Russell Westbrook. When the game is a 30-point blowout for the OKC Thunder, and Russ has 14 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists, and he's still out there trying to get his triple-double. This is what I'm thinking about, especially when there was a particularly disgusting display of selfishness, when James Harden was playing in a game where his team was up by nearly 50, and he was still out there with 61 points trying to go for Kobe's 81, and got pissed off when Mike D'Antoni took him out. He literally wanted to beat up on the second unit to get his 82 points a disgustingly self-centered and pathetic excuse for a fucking team-orientated player. That's why I didn't rave when Devin Booker had 70 points in a game where it was obvious they were trying to help him get that figure. Um, you know, it is what it is. Stat padding it's something that's here to stay. It ain't going to change. 
But to me, it's just, that's why I don't really ooh and awe ah with some of these guys' performances. Now, when you go out there and you score 45 points and it's a close contest, especially if your team is getting blown out. When I say blown out, I mean by 18, not 48. When your team is getting blown out and your points single-handedly or whatever your actions are, your points or your playmaking or your defensive rebounding, and, and these things are what help to key your team's comeback. And if you happen to have 25 rebounds or if you happen to have 25 assists, then that's, that's incredible. Yeah. But if you're out there consciously trying to pad your numbers and you're thinking, okay, well, I got 27 assists. If I stay out here for another six minutes, I just got to force some passes. You know, even if it's not the best shot, even if I have a better shot, I'm going to force some passes so I can get 31 on the record. That's not a good teammate to me. You know? But anyway, just want to do this little video to prove a point and to to show my point of view. Tell me what you guys think.